Warning! Warning! The following video contains massive spoilers on the game I'm going to play. Do not proceed if you do not the game want the game spoiled. Here, I'll give you ten seconds to leave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, for those who don't want the game spoiled gone, good. Let's get on with the video. How are you today? Alex here and welcome back to Mega Man 8 Bit Deathmatch. Yes, this is two videos in a row I'm doing Mega Man 8 Bit Deathmatch. Might be, I don't know. Uh, but yeah. But don't worry, next video will not be Mega Man 8 Bit Deathmatch. In fact, I want to have a little bit of build up for the next one. Anyway, this time. Like the thumbnail says, we're gonna be taking on the next one. The taking on the next two bosses, Metcatcher and Darkman. So Metcatcher isn't really that bad. He Metcatcher is just a little bit difficult in case you don't know what to do. So there are two phases to this boss battle. The first phase, he'll raise up and then clamp down. Shoot him! Shoot him, and when he dive, dives at you, just run. Just uh, just run. Don't even start try to shoot him. Just run. Um, killing this man gets you the, ener item, the energy bouncer. And if you get grabbed like here, you will take damage. And, okay, so yeah, he fired off these pellet thingies. And then, now and then, he'll throw these rocks. These rocks contain useful items. Pick them up. These things bur burst into three metals. Metals. They aren't really that much of a problem once you get a certain weapon later on in this fight. Ah, yes, Dust Crusher. This is your main weapon. This will be your main weapon for most of the battle. I might actually die on this one. Just keep spamming Dust Crusher when he attacks. And dive out of the way when he does that. Ah yes, here's the weapon I was talking about. This is extremely powerful when taking out these small these small mechs. We you'll need you you will need this later on. And he just turned and he's going to up Yep, it is bad. Okay. <laughs> this is fa phase two has begun. Now there are two bosses. D don't all focus on the second boss. Destroy the f destroy the metal catcher. You don't need to focus on the second boss just now. That's the second boss, by the way. Extremely difficult to do if you do not know how to dodge a certain attack that comes. Well, destroy the mental catcher as fast as possible. There we go. Very fast. Alright, when he does this, uh, ha, ha. he did it, he, uh, I didn't, wasn't on the right side. But yeah, use Dust Crusher against this guy as well. Rain flush them. Dodge this side, use Dust Crusher. Rain flush. Whenever he stomps, he'll spawn four metals. When he does this, get get Thunderclaw out. When you see the shock, the tidal wave coming, shoot up to the claw to, with with um, Thunderclaw to grab on and get yourself out of there. That's the only way I found currently to dodge that attack. It is brutal if you do not dodge it. Absolutely brutal. If you cannot dodge it, then then what you'll need to do is run through it as fast as possible. Because then you'll take at least minimum damage. You won't be able to negate all of it, but yeah. Anyway, rain flush. Oh, dodge. Dust crusher, dust crusher. Rain flush. Oh, 
Thunderclaw. Thunderclaw. Okay. He's almost dead. Just gotta. Yep, there we go. And he's down. And by the way, if you want to go play this game yourself, by all means, go ahead. I should have mentioned spoiler warning at the beginning. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll add a quick video in, the t in at the start just for the spoiler warning. I'll add a quick video at the start. Yeah, hell, uh, that's what I do. This is what I do. I'll do. Anyways, uh, oh, spoilers. <laughs> um, there's you can see quite all the bosses. Some of these bosses I will not be able to show off perfectly because sometimes there'll be secret bosses that I can't get to so yeah don't expect all of them to be here I'll try to get all of them but don't expect it yes alright dark man he has a special maneuver first get this and equip it you will not it's very hard to survive without it it's all about this so this battle is more about patience than it is rushing in guns and blazing. He'll sometimes jump around the room. He'll jump to either somewhere random or where you're standing. Then just keep moving. So when he charges up, stop firing. He'll do this massive wave blast that is deadly hard to dodge. When you get him down very low, he will, he will then get angry and then deploy his cheating tactic. Four versus one! <laughs> but then, like gasp, Proto Man comes. Yes, I can use the hand. I'm not missing your hands. <laughs> uh, whatever. That's the lamest joke in the <laughs> book. Um, Alright. Now, Proto Man's gonna help you. This battle is actually not too bad. This one's not too bad. I mean, sure, a lot of things are happening on screen. Oh, a lot of things, I mean. Oh, ow! Whoa! Whoa. Alright. There are three other ones that enter the battle now. Dark Man 1 is the one which looks like the tank. He will drive around and then sometimes ram into you. He'll then also shoot stuff at you. And then... So yeah. My best tactic is just to keep charging up and destroying him. When you destroy a dark number, they drop a healing item. A big healing item. So, Dark Man 2, he slowly walks around the room and just does absolutely nothing. Very easy to deal with. Dark Man 3, he'll jump into the air and then shoot multiple pellets at you. Very difficult to aim at, not too difficult to dodge. Once you defeat all all three of them, then Dark Man starts or starts attacking himself. I recommend dealing with the dark numbers first. Now he doesn't do his now be careful as in this phase he loves his he loves to do his charge up. But yeah, this battle can get a little tedious. Oh. So anyway, about Proto Man, he sometimes jumps around the room and then shoots. Then he'll sometimes dash. In this phase, that is really helpful as he'll dash straight into Dark Man 4, allowing you enough time to shoot him. Oh, blah, blah, blah. That was cool. If you're wondering, this is also live. If anyone was wondering that, and probably no one was wondering that, this is also live recording, so I'm actually recording this live. Well, I'm not, I'm not pre, I didn't pre-record this footage and then, and then talk over it and act, and do some epic acting like I am doing. I'm, I'm doing this live. So, blank, blank, blah. Ow, ow, ow. You see how deadly that attack is. Don't be like me. Do not get hit by it. Ow, ow. Once you finish them off. You win. 
So there's one last thing that I want to show off. I kind of skipped these battles, but now is the perfect time to show you. If I go here, there is there are three battles I want to do. Copy robot. Copy robot is the um like copy Mega Man from Mega Man Powered Up. He is he is appears if you're wondering. He appears throughout the first six chapters in different forms. So, let's begin. There are three forms of his. Well, not forms, but more battle types. So, this is number one. He appears, I think, in Fireman stage. Eh. He's trying to pose like Mega Man here. My character doesn't want to. Alright, this battle isn't too bad. Run over here to grab to grab the special weapons and then and use needle cannon to wear down his health quickly. His method is to run around and sometimes shoot pellets. He'll also sometimes slide like that. They deal massive amounts of damage. His charge shot also does quite a bit of damage. So be careful about that. Anyway, get straight up close to him and then just spam. Spam. <laughs> spam the spam the spam the air shooter. That destroys him very quickly. You'll be back. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right, you will be. That's copy one defeated. Now it's copy copy Mega Man Battle 2. This one, yeah, there he is, and uh, well, well then, this time there are traps around the battlefield, and yeah, I don't, I don't want to join him. My character still want, doesn't want to. Oh, you think you're cool? I'm gonna destroy ya! Second battle. This time, grab these two weapons immediately. It's not They're not too useful. I'd recommend sticking to your Mega Buster. But then, soon he was present. Twist! Now he has the cool weapons! <laughs> this bubble head, he likes to jump up there and then just spam the bubble head. Not too difficult to avoid. It's actually more of an easier one than his Mega Buster. He then soon decides that one weapon, you know, isn't cool enough for him, so he takes two. <laughs> I didn't know that was actually perfectly timed. <laughs> so this one, he'll just jump, he'll just shoot at you and then jump. Oh yeah, he likes to do charge shot now and then. And he still has his sliding gimmick. I recommend sticking to your Mega Buster, but if he gets too close, use, the, use Power Stone. It is, as it does, massive amount of damage. But, yeah, stick to your Mega Buster if you feel like it. I'd rather stick to my Mega Buster. It does, the, it does a great amount of damage. And it's, a, it's probably the best weapon in this level. Dodge to the side. Okay, and soon he's defeated. Copy three. This time, he's not going. He's going all out. He's not holding back. You shouldn't either. Like he says. But there's a twist. There's no weapons for us to pick up. Well, it's a good thing he has no weapons either, because he can't pick up and yeah. yeah. hmm. Let's see. I feel a slight disadvantage. Uh, potato, potato. My last words. I did. That was the first thing I came up with my head. Um, 
All right, copy three. He has wire adapter, center flash, Yamato spear, fire flame sword, and I think also pharaoh shot. He always stay aware. He also likes a charge shot. His flame sword wire adapter combo is brutal. When he uses center flash, always look around because you never know where he's going to be. Dive to the side. Ow. This is this is actually a kind of hard battle. He, this is the only time he poses a challenge, when he has all these cool weapons. Anyway, yes, Yamato Sphere, yep, lovely, yep, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is doing so much damage. This, you can see how hard this battle is. This is easy mode, by the way. Wow. Charge up, wow. I died. Let's try this again. Shall we? You can see how this battle can be posed a challenge. Well, be careful of that flame sword wire adapter combo. It is brutal. Ow. Dump <laughs> over his ear and his ears. Oh, whoa, 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 ow. What? Ow. Ow. Whoa. <laughs> that was close. Um, oh, uh, wow, wow, wow. Battle shot. Okay. Alright, he hasn't used Centaur Flash tap much. He only used it once per- once in this battle. Regenerate my health. What is he planning? He's using Yamato Spear. Um, what is else? He's using Mega Buster. He's using Battle Shot. Ow. Okay. Whoa. Ah, gosh. You can see how hard this battle is. Well, with a little bit of determination, you can defeat him. Kabow! Yeah, I'll bust her only. And a few health power ups, I'm not gonna lie. You take those. So the first time I battled him. When I played this game again, is I actually beat him without taking a single health power up, which is pretty impressive. Anyways, that will be it for this for this video. Subscribe to me if you want to see more game videos, and if you like this, well, press the like button. And I'll see you on the next video. Wow.